Hey everyone, um, so my first video, so you're gonna have to bear with me. The video quality is gonna be horrible. Um, I don't really like the sound of my voice very much. So I'm gonna try to make this kind of short and quick, but also kind of go over a bunch of things. Um, Cause I see a lot of people with these printers and I don't see a lot of videos online about them. Um, and they really, really are just as much of a pain in the rear to deal with as any other printer. Um, some of the things that they said were going to make it super easy, the, the printing from the Wi-Fi and stuff like that, and the auto bed leveling are all great, awesome features that a lot of printers didn't have at the time, but nowadays it's kind of more of a common feature on a lot of printers that, or mods that you can do for rather cheap. So I'm going to go over some of the modifications and things that I did to my printer to make it work better, some of the things that worked and some of the things that didn't work. Um, as you notice... I've got a heated build plate right here. Um, it's not at all a real heated build plate by any means. Um, this did not cost $150 to install. This did not cost $500 from the one that's on eBay. This costed me exactly, I want to say, probably $15 um, in order to make this whole little setup right here. Uh, basically what it is, it's, it's two hand warmers. Uh, that I got off of Amazon for for about five bucks, three bucks, um, and I didn't do have to do a whole lot of modification in order to make this work on my printer. Actually, all I ended up having to do is actually just tape them to the bottom. They slide actually right underneath the glass bill plate, and I taped them to the bottom. I did because the MakerBot is not built to have any kind of modifications done to it. I did have to basically take a drill bit and I drilled the side of it, not all the way through because I didn't want to modify it all the way. I really wanted to keep it as clean and as close to original as possible just in case this decided not to work, that I wasn't going to be hurting uh, the build quality of any of my other printers or any of my other prints. Uh, since this is my only printer um, and I am very, very cheap, I kept it and I've been modifying it and using it ever since, trying to use different things and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So you see, none of the other Thingiverse um, items really worked for this guy at all. Uh, if you check out my, my Thingiverse profile, you'll see that there's a lot of modifications I don't have in the front of this guy anymore, a bunch of little 3D printed parts. Um, I used to have an iPad up here for time-lapse videos. I don't use that much anymore. Um, this guy, though, is a little hugger. Uh, thing. This guy does work um, pretty well. Um, a couple of things I want to go over. The Smart Extruder Plus is a must on any of these printers. Everything else is garbage. All the older ones are all garbage. It's not a whole lot of modifications you can do to the Smart Extruder um, that I found that work at all over the years. Uh, the only one that I found as far as actually modifying the extruder itself is the, uh, the Ninja Flex or the flexible filament modification. Basically, you just take the four screws out of this guy, pull it apart very carefully, obviously, and there's a little piece that basically guides the, uh, the filament, the softer filament, all the way down into, into this. Um, it's an absolute must when you're printing with flex. I actually just got done pulling my flex out. Um, I was actually making my watch. So, my little mushroom Apple watch guy going on right now um just playing around with this material for the first time so i apologize for my neighbors um but anyways so modifications i did bill plate heated is really super important this one if you go out and buy a, a nice one that would be awesome of course but i mean if nothing else for 15 dollars, this worked out well for me um, I haven't tried using ABS yet or any of the other crazy materials, but as far as PLA, it uh, keeps the bed plate nice and warm. Uh, it doesn't get too hot, doesn't get too cold, and actually pretty much stays uh, pretty warm uh, throughout the print. I haven't actually had a single lifting issue since I've uh, installed this little guy. Now this is just a USB that is plugged in over on the side over here. Obviously not the best idea. It does get a little warm. Um, after using for quite a bit, but uh, it worked out. It worked out pretty well, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. So another modification you got to do. This thing is, needs needs the side plates put into it all the time. This you cannot have any kind of 
um, any kind of air movement inside this. So this has got to go inside a box and you basically close off a box and put it inside of another box. Uh, another modification I did, just some quick LEDs inside here. Makes this thing look really nice. Just throwing some strips. There is there is a Thingiverse thing for the little plastic guy that goes right inside here that the LED is actually sitting on right now. Makes it really nice. Again, apologize for, the, for all the extra background noise. Um, I did also put fans back in beside my stepper motors because motors getting hot just it seems like a good idea um, so just took a took apart a, a cooling fan little kit that I had um, for a laptop uh, setup that had gone bad so I took the fans out of that and that's also just using the USB that came out of the fan controller to control those guys but I got two LED fans on either side back there just kind of screaming away right next to the steppers to kind of keep them cool um, guys just don't like anything getting hot when it comes to electronics uh, but as far as modifications go that's about it um, i put these plates in here um, you are going to have to eventually replace your belt this can be done by taking this uh this guy completely off pretty easy all the belt goes all the way through just just keep an eye on how it was looped through originally and you can loop the new ones through um i've replaced the belt probably three times now i've replaced the idlers every idler on this guy probably twice um, including the back ones uh, sometimes this little fan back here will make some noise on me just when it rubs up against it but it hasn't it hasn't really given me a single issue yet but those are the modifications that i've done um uh, obviously in the process of building my own little case over here for to keep my PLA and all my materials nice and dry but I just wanted to kind of touch bases on all those items um, a lot of times people have issues with uh, this guy going loose um, quick fix to that is just a, a couple screws right on the inside back here or actually just one screw that tightens the belt um, just tighten that guy down and that'll solve that issue uh, anytime that a, you have a bed leveling issue it's always going to be the extruder and usually what happens is it just gets stuck because that's literally what it is it's just this guy tapping down on your bill plate that tells it where it's at so if you ever have a bell leveling issue it's almost always this guy right here um, I've had uh, people commenting and I've been commenting on other people's posts um, some issues that people are running into are more the files and not really the printer itself um, but overall i've been pretty happy with this thing i've printed a lot of stuff out of it everything i've 3d printed basically has come off of this guy um, i bought another little cheap printer and tried to use a little delta printer and uh, when i already had this just laying around here it really just became more of a showpiece and i ended up just kind of giving it away to one of my friends um, should have kept it for parts obviously thinking a little bit farther ahead. I probably would have but I gave it to one of my friends just as a as a gift because he Wanted to get him into 3d printing But yeah, so uh, I'll be making more videos and and uh, posting some time lapses I don't see a lot of time lapses for this printer up here. So I'll be posting some more time lapses some of the stuff that I'll be printing